So what I'm going to show you on our screen here is the trade sheets in Option City Metro right now. And you can see I have just set up a couple of months for the SPX outright. I do have some value sheets for May and June. Which, uh, specifically, I'm looking at uh, you know my the strikes in the middle, of course, and then I'm looking at uh, on the left hand side the call uh, market data uh, with my theoretical value that I'm generating uh, in the uh, pistachio uh, type color there, and then the puts on the right where you see my uh, cursor resting at the moment, and of course the at the money strike is shaded. So. Looks like my values are bid market here for the uh, SPX markets, but I think it's important to point out that I can do uh, linking of volatility skews. So if there's another market, maybe it's the spider options or the E mini options that's maybe a little tighter, and I need want to generate my values from that. I can use a linked skew in Option City, and specifically if I wanted to look at my uh, May uh, skew here. Uh, overlay between the uh, bids and offers in the market, you can see that all my values are pretty much right in line uh, with the electronic market. And if I look over here on the left on the inputs for what I'm using to generate this skew, uh, this linked box is, che is checked, meaning I am actually linking my, um, uh, in this case, slopes and curves that I'm defining the skew from another uh, product. Uh, so that can be the E-minis or the spiders, uh, or the common ones. But, you know, obviously there's a difference in product, whether the ob obviously the expiration or even just general, uh, you know, supply and demand. I might need to put a volatility shift in or an underlying offset. So I do have that ability to put this in um, uh, for a linked product. Uh, why is linking these important other than maybe because you think it's fundamentally the correct way to do this? Um, it also lets you do less maybe skew maintenance uh, throughout the day, and it's important, I think, as we talked about all the different weekly contracts um, with all the different expirations, uh, maybe there's more to maintain, and it makes it a lot easier if you can kind of link things together, uh, and it makes sense as well if you're sort of trading uh, several index products on the uh, S&P 500 in the same sort of basket and style and risk profile that we can take a look at it in a little bit as well. Um, on here, I can go in, we talked about a, one kind of spread trade. In here in my sheets, in addition to clicking on you know, a piece of market data and sending in an order ticket to make an electronic order and trade, I can also start pricing up a, a spread, the 21-25 uh, call spread. With I think the 2120. So if I just click on these two strikes, I automatically in Option City have defined can instantly see what I have this call spread worth at 198 um, here. Obviously, if I'm in the SPX pit on a tablet with just two clicks, I know the value and can immediately make a, a market in open outcry for this. Now, if I were to click on this spread, I can look at a, a larger view of it. I can maybe move the futures around and look at a hypothetical scenario of what this is then going to be worth. Um, I could even lock in the, the futures price here um, if I were doing this as a, as a laid up spread. I can also come in here and if this is actually a cash spread that I'm trading the pit, I can come in here and say, you know, we're doing this uh, 500 times, uh, what's it worth? and mark it as a cash spread. I think I hit the button wrong, but uh, I think you get the idea there. Now, if I'm uh, creating this spread on, on my tablet and I'm working as, um, I can put it in my list and kind of keep track in my hot list of these different spreads. So this uh, defines it um, as this uh, strange call spread uh, quantity that I just created. And I can create one too. And you'll notice if I click on three strikes, It'll you know define you know what the call put fly is worth. So if I priced up this put spread, um, I can then uh, trade this from my tablet. So I can this trade request button is to send an ETN to someone. I can see in here all the people I've sent ETNs to in the past. So they'll be saved in here automatically after the first time. So you can just cart it up right there and send the ETN to them. In terms of accepting an ETN right uh, myself. I can get these in by clicking this outcry button. A, a relatively new feature, which is 
the share button. This actually sends the spread to a shared hot list. So if I'm trading as part of a group, now I have this shared hot list uh, for everyone to see so we don't all have to maybe card it up or maybe I can make others aware of it in my group or someone that's standing in a different area of the pit or what have you. You will also notice that um, I do have my values and greets in here. If this is defined as an electronic spread already in the, in the market, this will actually highlight in green now, populate with the electronic prices for the spread, and then I can click buy or sell right from here. Uh, this put fly does not exist, and neither does this call vertical, so I can't uh, trade it. But the idea is that I can kind of use electronic trading of a spread uh, from my sheets as a new feature in Option City, uh, even more so than in the past. I also have this number in here that I've kind of made bold and purple. This is a new value or Greek um, that we put in the system based on uh, demand from our, our customers. We defined it uh, as a delta tilt is what we named the value. Um, it would be commonly referred to as a, a normalized uh, skew number, and so it kind of gives, lets you know how much skew uh, you could be buying um, or selling for any given spread price. So you'll notice that that is uh, uh, new in the system as well. Um, now going on from my uh, valuation sheets, I mentioned the spreads and what exists electronically. We can, of course, access the entire, you know, Cobb, Hal, Sal, and COA and respond to auctions in Option City. But I did just want to pull up a list of here's the, uh, here's the uh, spreads, all the spreads that exist on the exchange for May. And you'll notice that I have kind of went ahead and or ordered them uh, by how many have, have traded on the day. So this, um, this put uh, fly it's traded the most at uh, 1,280 contracts today. It has my value overlaid between the market. Now, I don't have to you know, sort by volume necessarily. I can just define some as favorites, or maybe I just wanted to look at only the vertical spreads. Um, I can do that as well. And then from here, I could, if it were the weekly contracts that I um, that are able to quote electronically. I could auto quote these in Option City. I could also run an electronic eye target finder uh, mission for these as well. And I will show you that we can also have full access of the you know spreads that are trading in a time and sales view. So I can see, and these are the live markets as things are trading that are letting me know uh, what instrument traded. I happen to be blue or pink a relative uh, to show me if it was above or below my theoretical uh, value on here. Um, and what's interesting here is I, I can actually filter just for the spreads that are trading. And I can see that maybe something traded uh, advantageously versus my values. I can actually come in here and generate an order ticket um, and reactively try to get on that uh, trade as well. Um, in addition to kind of linking uh, SKUs for index products, I can also have linked and aggregated risk. And so I set up a, a quick example of combined. So I've combined actually uh, E-minis and SPX uh, uh, into a portfolio view. So here is my net P&L. I've made some money. I, I've short a lot of deltas. And if I wanted to look more into this, I could click on my deltas. And oops, I could click on this and then see the breakdown between E-mini and SPX deltas that are giving me that net. And I have this set up in the background so that obviously there are different contract sizes, uh, but I wanted to, I can normalize it. In this case, I wanted to look at everything. Um, you know, obviously the SPX deltas are two and a half times what the E-mini deltas are. And I can even come and kind of break this down further. If I want to look on a month by month level, I can drop down and see uh, where my deltas are coming from to make up that net total position. And that's just one quick example. I can do this for any Greek. I can look at a, um, you know, position views that are normalized as well on a, on a kind of strike by strike level um, to really kind of let you aggregate and um, look at both aggregate and separate kind of uh, looks at your risk profile anywhere in Metro. You know, SPX and index trading. We have a lot more. Obviously, we've had a, a large presence at, for 
with the uh, community here in Chicago trading these uh, products for a long time, and we've definitely evolved the system uh, along the way with uh, several kind of long-term customers, and we'd be happy to uh, get into this in more detail for anyone that's interested.